Alright guys, back for another week and back for another episode of the Championship Transfer Room Roundup. Plenty to discuss in today's video, loads of talking points to go over and as always I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below as well. Without any further ado though, let's first of all jump into some done deals. So we've seen Millwall complete a deal for Kevin Nisbet, we did speak about this one in one of the previous Transfer Room Roundup videos. This rumour has been long been circulating, uh, Millwall were originally interested in bringing the striker over in January but a move didn't materialise then. But it has since gone through and the deal described as a significant seven figure fee so Millwall clearly showing that ambition to go on for the next season and into the playoffs. From Hibernian themselves they've uh, claimed that there are sizable add-ons as well as a sell-on fee within the contract that Nisbet has signed with Millwall and an exciting addition I think it's fair to say. We also saw Norwich complete a deal for Shane Duffy we did touch on that one while it was a rumour in a previous instalment of the Champions Championship transfer rumour roundup. Norwich moving pretty swiftly to get some of these deals over the line. Obviously, already snapped up uh, Ashley Barnes already on their way with a few other rumours which we discussed in previous videos as well. But Shane Duffy will add that bit of experience to that back line that was quite vulnerable at Flaky on quite a few occasions last season. But those are a couple of the deals that have gone through over the past few days. Now without any further ado, let's hop in some rumours. Match like Preston North End, all been linked with a move for Liverpool fullback Calvin Ramsey on a loan deal. Now, right wing back has been a problem position for North End ever since Ryan Lowe arrived at the club, really. We've been using Brad Potts in that position, and while Potts has done a steady job, he's not naturally a right wing back, and it has been the position that we have neglected over the past few transfer windows. I'd be all over this sort of deal. Uh, Ramsey, obviously really highly thought of, while at Aberdeen, Liverpool then purchased him for just over £4 million. and since arriving at Anfield, hasn't had the best of luck with injuries. I think he had to have knee surgery last season so did miss the majority of the season has ultimately only appeared in a couple of cup matches for Liverpool but 19 years old massive ceiling in terms of potential and as I say from a Preston fan fitting into our system and what we're currently in need of I think this one does tick a lot of boxes. Preston also have a decent relationship with Liverpool as well. They sent Set Van den Berg out on a couple of loans to Preston where we developed him really quite well, I think, over that spell. And there's also a bit of talk about Liverpool potentially using Deep Dell uh, to host one of their pre-season friendlies as well. So all of that packaged into it, this one could very well be on the cards, which I'd be pretty happy about. Middlesbrough have been the latest club to enter the race for Newcastle goalkeeper Carl Darlow. Feels like every transfer window but I'll link with the move for Darlow but it is a position they're looking to improve obviously last season uh, had Zach Stefan on loan from Manchester City so we'll be looking for that potential permanent goalkeeper to come in and Darlow did a fine job I thought in the second half of last season while on loan with Hull. Now Hull are also interested in taking the goalkeeper from Newcastle. His current deal uh, with Newcastle runs until 2025 but it does seem as if he will be made available for transfer for this summer and with both Middlesbrough and Hull battling for his signature be interesting to see where he does end up. Joel Perot is being linked with the move to Salernitana in Serie A. The Italian club finished 15th in the Italian top flight last season and are reportedly willing to spend up to 10 million on the Swansea front man. Now Perot's already attracting plenty of interest. We spoke last time about uh, the two unnamed Premier League clubs who were interested in the Dutch forward and now he's got potential interest from some European suitors as well. We spoke about his contract situation last time with his deal at Swansea set to expire in 2024 and not looking likely to extend that deal so this would be the perfect opportunity for Swansea to go ahead and cash in on him and I mean going off his numbers both in terms of goals, assists, underlying numbers in terms of creativity as well it's easy to see why all that interest is there and at the age he's at as well. Still only 23 years old, got a massive ceiling and that consistent of a goal scorer he's always going to attract some European interest. But when it comes to Swansea the outgoings don't stop there as Matt Grimes is now being linked with a move to Southampton obviously this one following the track of Russ Martin who's expected to be announced as the Southampton manager once that compensation package is worked out and finalised and I mean Grimes feels like 
consecutively every summer is linked with a move away from Swansea. Consistently puts in brilliant performances and I mean knows how to make a Russell Martin system tick. In terms of being comfortable on the ball in those deeper areas, being good at those penetrative passes and a real battler off the ball as well. He just has so much to his skill set. I think Swansea fans will admit that Grimes is definitely good enough to be playing for one of the top sides in the championship. I think he's been at that level for a couple of years now and now knowing how to play and make this Russell Martin system work, I can understand why he'd want to take him along to Southampton. And Southampton's interest doesn't stop there as Jay Fulton also been linked with a move to the Saints at this point in time as well. Obviously, fun midfield base for the majority of the season along with Grimes at Swansea. Sometimes when a manager does hop over to a rival club, there can be clauses added to contracts and things like that where it means that he's not allowed to go back in for any of his previous players so it'll be interesting to see if Swansea do manage to wrangle any of that um, into Martin's contract but you can see why he'd like to take a few of those players from Swansea with him uh, to Southampton. Now outgoings from Southampton, Lavia is attracting plenty of Premier League interest right now with Chelsea seemingly the most interested of those sides in the 19 year old. Now Manchester City do have a buyback option for the midfielder but that only becomes active in 2024 and it's for 40 million so it'll be interesting to see how much Southampton would be willing to accept for him uh, going into this summer. Chelsea certainly have plenty of money to play around with. He is one of Southampton's most sellable assets after how well he did in what was a really tough season for Southampton. The potential's clearly there and I think they could drive up that price tag uh, pretty high with several Premier League sides interested. Now last time we spoke about Neil Warnock and him sticking around at Huddersfield for next season and is he now looking to get the band back together because Huddersfield are being linked with a couple of Warnock's old boys. The first of which being Junior Hoyler. He's of course spent the last couple of seasons with Reading but previously working with Warnock at both Cardiff and QPR and having some great moments alongside each other. Now 33 he'd certainly had plenty of experience to that Terriers squad and for Reading in this season just gone by. He played in a variety of positions. And Sean Morrison also been linked with the move to Huddersfield as well, the 32 year old who previously worked with Warnock at Cardiff. Now, Morrison, we've not seen that much over the last sort of 18 months from him because of that cruciate ligament rupture uh, that he had, obviously. Spent a bit of time with Rotherham um, in this season just gone by, but only had a couple of appearances, so hard to judge where he's at right now in terms of his overall levels, but 32 years old, and you can see why a manager like Warnock would want to bulk up that squad with plenty of experience and players who he has previously worked with. So, Huddersfield fans, would you take either of Morrison or Hoyler or both of them? Bit of a blow to any Coventry fans that were hopeful of getting Jonathan Panzo back potentially on a permanent basis going into next season because Rangers are now nearing a permanent deal for the Nottingham Forest defender. A fee of around 2.5 million currently being discussed. Obviously, we've already seen Coventry get off the mark in terms of their business uh, this summer, but Panzo, it seems as if, will be heading to Scotland instead of the Championship this summer. This one would certainly be an ambitious move, but following their full buyout from the 49ers, Leeds United are said to be weighing up a move for Coventry City's Gustavo Hamer. Now, Hamer has been, I mean, over these last few years, really, one of the outstanding stars in the championship, but particularly this season just gone by, absolutely flawless, can do so many things, and I think Coventry fans are at that point now where they are accepting that he probably will be moving on to that next stage in his career this summer. His contract with Coventry does expire in 2024, so this is the sensible time to go ahead and cash in on him. But from a Leeds perspective, while someone like Hamer would make for an absolutely dazzling signing, I would be amazed if he's not playing Premier League football uh, going into next season. I think that a Premier League club is probably more than likely to swoop in for this sort of deal before Leeds can get there, but hey, we've seen Leeds pull off some big deals in the past, and if they do get some big earners off the wage bill, a uh, few who we've discussed in previous videos, then who knows how much they'll have to play around with in terms of finances this summer, but I do think a Premier League club or two will 
swoop in there for Hamer before any championship clubs can get their hands on him, but it's an interesting transfer line nonetheless. Plymouth are said to be interested in a deal for Matthew Pennington. The Shrewsbury defender is out of contract this summer, and along with Plymouth, the likes of Portsmouth and Reading are also said to be interested in the 28-year-old. Solid performer by all accounts for Shrewsbury uh, this season featured in 37 League One matches. Uh, it does offer a goal threat as well, four goals, two assists, but all these underlying defensive numbers look fairly solid. But guys, there we have it. I will now wrap it up for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Plenty more to come out throughout the week as well, so make sure to stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content and any other transfer rumours that you've seen going around. Get them in the comments down below. Apart from that though, guys, thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one.